today, guys, we're going to be making this. If you want to learn how, stay tuned! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Trey the DIY Ninja and today we are going to be sublimating this Porsche 911 Turbo mm, I don't know, I think that's what it is <laughs> Anyways, um, black and gold car because this is what my baby is obsessed with my dad actually has this car and he is like, that's granddaddy's car! And he thinks every black car is granddaddy's car and he like loves it. And as you can tell from my table here, they're just full of cars and driving things. He's obsessed with cars, race cars. He actually watches like car simulations on YouTube. He's so funny. Anyways, today I'm going to be making a magic flip pillow for him. And I just want to see his face when he like flips it flips all the sequins and then sees that it's his favorite car. So I have this already printed out. I just printed it. This is uh, the, why can I not think right now? <laughs> the Sublimation Ink Print from my Epson 2760 Eco Tank. I keep forgetting the numbers. Anyways, I made a video on how I turned my Epson EcoTank printer into a sublimation printer so I will put that link up here on the card above you can just watch that video after this and now let's see what we need to get started okay so I have my heat transfer ready to go this is my sublimation substrate which is just a flip sequin pillow um, this is the white side and as you can see on the top where I'm not printing on I left the silver there just because the edges are hard to get and also it's just you know laziness but I have my Cricut Easy Press here I'm going to just get it started Is this on? on button? okay so I already have it preset at 400 degrees at 60 seconds hopefully that's the right temperature for this that's basically what I do all my sublimations though um, never actually sublimated a flip sequin pillow so let's give this a shot what I'm going to do is actually lint roll in this direction just to make sure the surface is clean and free of debris I don't think sequins have lint but just in case and then I will tape down my image as perfectly in the center as possible though it's kind of hard to tell but yeah we'll see okay and as always I always prep my tape since I don't have a tape dispenser and when I cut the tape, I always fold the tab in so I can always find the end. So here I have four pieces of heat tape. And this way they don't melt when you apply the heat on there. Okay, so I have laid my transfer on and taped it down. My husband checked it to make sure it was straight and in the center, so if it's not, it's his fault. I also forgot to mention I already have a sheet of butcher paper inside the pillow just in case the ink gases go through. That way it doesn't go on the other side because the other side is like a really nice velvet white and you don't want ink stains on that side. Now I'm going to put my butcher paper on the top here and then I will lay my heat press on and let's wait for 60 seconds. Okay, so right now, oops, there we go. I'm actually putting a little pressure on and I did move my press by accident, so hopefully it doesn't cause ghosting. But we'll see how it goes. Three more seconds, two seconds, one. All right, let's take this off. I'll just to leave it on a couple more seconds. Okay, let's take it off. All right, guys, wish me luck. I'm gonna just peel this off. And I kind of see ink going through, so I think it worked. But I'm not sure if I got all the corners up here very well, but oh well. It's really hot, so maybe I'm gonna just cool down for a couple seconds. And then I'm gonna take off the tape, and then we can do the peel together. So here's the reveal, but first let me show you. It was really hard to get the tape off because it's sticking to every individual sequin and I feel like I was ripping them off. So be careful with the heat tape. Um, you might want to use the spray instead, but it definitely did help to prevent ghosting. So the heat tape did its job. Let me get rid of this last corner and then we'll come back and take a final look. Okay, so here is the heat transfer after... I printed it. It is a lot lighter, but it still looks like there's a lot of ink on here. I could probably do like a faded transfer with this, but I did rip it the 
paper when I was trying to take it off with the tape. But I'm letting this cool down. But yeah, that looks so clean. And then I still don't know if it's straight or not, but it looks pretty straight. Let me take the paper out from the inside. Huh, I think there might be ink on the inside too, so good thing I put that in. And let's just take a look at the pillowcase. Very cool. Very cool. My son's gonna love this. I think I got the corners down a bit too. Let's just flip it up. See, look, if you flip it up, it disappears. And then you don't see it anymore. It's so cool. Okay, let me put this, put a pillow in this case and then I'll show you what it looks like. But yeah, overall, super successful for my first time. So cool, so cool. And then if you like flip it and then you see that some of it didn't flip back, you just reflip it again and it should turn back to normal. But even the principal side has a bit of a shine to it, like a glitter. Super cool. Hey guys, here's the finished pillow. Are you ready for the reveal? You can kind of see my reflection <laughs> in the silver pillow, but yeah. Check it out. Oh my god. Oh, it's so cool. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Dude, this is awesome. This would make like a great housewarming gift, birthday gift. Like kids will love it. I mean, I love it. I'm not a kid, kinda. But yeah, I just stuffed one of my old pillows in there. <laughs> it was kind of a struggle because it's like furry, so I had to make sure I didn't zip all the fur. But yeah, this is so cool. So it may not look even because the pillow's not even, but it is evenly pressed. <laughs> so yeah. That's so cool. Anyways, give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see more sublimation videos or any kind of crafting things, leave a comment down below, and make sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Let me show you one more time. Okay, there we go. Wow. Still impressed. Okay, bye.